how do y'all welcome to the dark crystal convection? I just got a package in the mail. I'm pretty sure I know what this is. So I want to do a walkthrough review because it's been way too long. Oh yeah, there we are. This is the Dark Crystal Adventure Game from River Horse. Jim Hansen Company, of course. Now, I was pretty surprised. Actually, I know it's taken me forever to uh, even get around to this. That's because I was waiting for the price to drop down because initially it was only sold in Europe and the shipping was going to be almost the price of the book. And after a while, I, I didn't forget about it, but I stopped looking because I was kind of looking every day for a long time. And then recently I found it, Amazon, under 30 bucks in free shipping, so I could not beat that. Anyways, the book itself, this is going to be a quick walkthrough view. I wish I've played it, but I have not. I've seen other people play it, one of them, uh, one session really, and... That's about it. It is a hardcover book. You can see it's nice and thick. Feels great in the hand. Comes with all those lovely bookmarkers here. Nice colors. Very, very thraw. Uh, one thing I was surprised about initially was how small this book is. I'm, I'm only 5'6", and it's about the size of my hand. Uh, just for a comparison, I guess I assumed it was going to be a normal RPG size. So normal role-playing games, you have, they're like this size. Like this is Star Wars one. Here's Lord of the Rings. You know, again, usually they have very nice books, great maps. And usually they're bigger because they're reference books. They're out on the table a lot. You want them to kind of hold open by themselves. Lots of pictures, lots of really great artwork. Um, this one... So you can see it by way of comparison is pretty small for an RPG, I would say. So just be aware of that. I'm not saying that's either good or bad. Just be aware of that. So, all right. Let's dive into this thing because I have not seen it. So Janet Forbes, she is the one, kind of the, the main brain storyteller behind it. Jack Caesar, he works with Dark Horse, not Dark Horse, I'm sorry, River Horse. And um, these two were very much in league. You can watch interviews with them from the Dark Crystal podcast, uh, even stuff that River Horse put out. Rules author, adventure author. So um, she's really great at world building. And she really dove into to Thra. Uh, it's a big fan. And I, I love that she had the idea of... When she goes through Thra, which by the way, look at this great map. When she goes through Thra, uh oh, there's something on the back. I, I will be very distracted, yes. Oh, cool. There's a little pocket in the back. Here's, this looks like a quick reference guide here. Great artwork. Of course, all frowdy and stuff here. Um, looks like quick region references. Oh, the book itself. The book itself is... It's a little soft, which is nice. So these, this design, it's not really printed on. It's kind of encaved in. It's I'm sure you, you see shadows and lines and stuff, but you can feel it. It's it's like laser etched, I guess. It's probably what they did. Oh, very nice. This will just look really pretty on the bookshelf, honestly, without the cover. The cover itself is pretty. Though. I do like that foil they have on it. So. These are the same guys who made the Dark Crystal board game. Because of that, I was a little worried because the board game itself feels very dated. Uh, it's not very good. The artwork, the production, everything else is amazing. The board game itself just feels really dated. Anyways, really cool stuff. This does take place during the time right after Age of Resistance. Everything, of course, is not canon in here. Um, canon, quote-unquote, because obviously it's an RPG, you're going to be kind of playing through your own adventure. So I think they give a kind of good explanation of the canon here. So another world, another time in the Age of Resistance. The cruel Skeksis amass warped soldiers to form their Gartham army. Noble Gelfling raise their weapons against their former masters. A dark blight creeps through Thra, poisoning body and mind alike. So that's still happening. Those stories are set in stone. It is time for something different, for a story set in flame. Ah, so it flickers, it moves, it's uh, in flux. 
The whispers of prophecy hang on the wind, like smoke on the water. Thar is prying for you to take your place among the great heroes of old. Nothing in these pages is truth, except that which you choose to believe. Will the flames of resistance stir in your heart? Will you be a spark of light against the darkening? Will you help protect Thra so she can rise once more from the ashes? I think this is really cool because you got the game, adventure, toolkit, gallery. I think what's really great about this is... Uh, oh, look cool here. So some of these adventures, so basically every page or so, well, there's all your intro stuff with the characters. We'll, we'll walk through this real quick. Um, but some of this stuff, like each spread, each set of pages, sometimes it's multiple spreads, but they're all each kind of an individual adventure you could take. So you go to this certain area, here's an adventure. So this is really all stuff that the game master would read. Now from what they're saying, from what I've heard, it is RPG light. It is like just kind of get into the adventure, pretty light on rules, really big on the storytelling and whatnot. And I think the coolest part about this is that Janet, she she was really big on any, any little uh, parentheses, extra part of a, a throwaway phrase that was in the comics or in the graphic novels or in some of the no uh, regular novels, young adult novels. She wanted to explore that place. She wanted to like look in every nook and cranny of Thrall. So with that, let's kind of just walk through. This is my walkthrough review because I haven't had the chance to, uh, man, some of this stuff was just really pretty looking, which is always great. All right, the game, let's see if I can zoom in a little bit on this. The game, the laws of Thraw are the laws of life itself, from smallest scrub to Leviathan of the Deep. It is a hubris alone that rages against these bonds. No matter the struggle, judgment is all the same. Getting started, what is an adventure game? So this basically explains it. I'm not going to read everything to here, but let's see. This book is an adventure game. Adventure games, or role-playing games, can be played by two or more players. One player is the game master. All the other players are characters, or PCs, playable characters, that is. What do you need? You need this book. You need dice. So it looks like um, Dark Crystal uses five different types of polyhedral multi-sided dice. Don't worry, most of them are d6 d6 of course any board game you have you're gonna have some d6 so that's gonna be really easy to find before they'll have all these other ones you go to any gaming store they're all over the place now you'll find oh, those are d6 d20s uh, we got some tens here and all the other fun shapes and sizes so go to any game store uh, go to a comic book store they'll probably have these on the shelves you can find these anywhere. Order them online, easy. Pencil, eraser, paper, your character sheet, and your game master sheet. And on their website, uh, River Horse it is, you can get a, a character sheet for a Gelfling and whatnot. It's basically this, you can just print it out. This is really pretty. Of course, all the great um, artwork from Thra is gonna really shine here. Beginning is game master, so just relax. And the main thing to do is have fun, all this stuff, read ahead, kind of know where they're going, know the basics of the rules. Here's character creation stuff. Again, just a lot of great artwork. Some of this you saw in the making of the Age of Resistance. Drenchen, Deucen, Crodden, Seafin, Spriton, Stonewood, Vaporins. Looks like that's something unique about wings. If you're a girl, female Gelflings, huh? your skills. Agility, animals, fighting, scouting, lore, social, brawn. So there, there have been a lot of people wanting a Dark Crystal RPG. And because I guess it's taken so long, there have been a lot of people that have homebrewed them. And so you could find groups online that do that. Um, or maybe in your neighborhood. I'd, I'm still kind of looking for an active group that plays. Because I would love to really explore Thraw through an RPG and whatnot. You got summons, playing the game, how it all works. Your die roll, teamwork's a huge thing. Again, a, an RPG, when you boil it down, it's kind of group storytelling. This is kind of just giving you the rules to make sure everything in the universe works out. Attacking, defending, re-rolling, spending experience points, player tips, other Serena, trees. <laughs> Falling is fun. Death, whew, it is possible that your soul will return to Thra, but it does not mean the end of your story. To fear death is to become like a Skeksis. 
lots of great stuff. Running the games, again, this is all how it works. If you're the game master, you really need to read this. A good game master can really get new players in and give them some basics. And that is that. All right, so it looks like here's some background stuff. The world of Thra, what's this guy? He's Empire, the Resistance, the Age of Thra, Age of Innocence, Age of Harmony, Great Conjunction, Age of Division. So this is a very high level view of the history of where you're at now. The mystics have summoned Gelfling from across Scarith to save the seas of the Great Tree. This is the start of your adventure. And so from what I understand, the kind of big mission you're on, again, spoilers, if you're about to play this with someone, the kind of intro or the start of it is you need to find all the great seeds to kind of push back uh, the darkening and whatnot. And of course, this is before the time, or this is right between the time of the Gartham and obviously way before the third conjunction. There's a lot of unknown what happens in here. Um, I am very hopeful of what happens in here, but that's point another story. Skeksis, Mystics, the adventure game, beginnings. I'm glad to see that you have answered the summoning. Yes, you may feel like you are few in number, but you are enough for the job which needs to be done. Enough to save Thra. You are needed, young Gelfling, to collect the seven seeds from seven trees. You must bring them here to save Thra. You must do this before the next conjunction to save Thra, before the three suns meet. The players have made their characters and are ready to start their adventure in Thra. They find themselves in the Mystic Valley, a dry hole of red dust occupied by the aptly named Mystics. On the floor then describes what you see and kind of what you can do at this point. So I'm gonna sit and kind of... Uh, now I will also say that from here, I've seen a little bit of the pages from here. There are spoilers to other things, just FYI. So if you haven't read, uh, for example, the graphic novels, uh, there's going to be some spoilers in there. Uh, even, you know, the the legend stuff. Apparently there's some, some spoilers in there. So just FYI on that. I will say, though, that if you have read those, and this is really a love letter, I would say, from what I've seen of this again. I would say that this is really a love letter to people who have taken in every bit of Dark Crystal media. That's one reason I was really excited to get this book. I kind of want to look through it. I know looking through this, like through all the rest of this part, I mean, there's a lot of adventure, is going to, I guess, spoil the game a little bit. So I'm going to kind of look at it just very uh, briefly. There's a Silver Sea. Sarah, no, I thought I, I thought I saw something in the city of Hurrah. Omera, this is the the coral ship. So if you've read Jane Lee's novels, you'll be really familiar with that. I'm a huge fan of those novels. I really love what they did. Oh, look, there's a turtle. So you can possibly encounter a turtle. That thing's got to be gigantic. Um, oh, cool. Yeah, so it gives details on the Omera, for example. This is the flagship of the Seafing Clan. I... I, uh, yeah, a great coral ship. I, I really would love to see some really great artwork on this because I, I just think you could do something really cool with it. Yeah, I'm not going to look into too much detail. Mono Leviathan. So if you've read the prequel comics, this came up in the one with, uh, in the last story arc with the Madra. Mondo Leviathan, or the Madra, the B, I guess, at that point. This is really cool. You can go inside of it, kind of like they do in the stories. And it feels interesting. Ah, it's too big for one page. So this is a fold out and it's really cool. Bodily functions, excursion. Every few hours, the acid lake will be emptied into the digestive expanse, which is then forced towards the exit and voided into the ocean. Yes, you can obviously Imagine what that is. Vomiting, natural defenses, and death. Oh, the Bogglings. Bogglings, again, those come from the comics. Like, only if you've read the, kind of that last arc of comics would you even know what those characters are. You know, there's some stuff for them. Oh, it has some names of them. So there's Salt. He has a vicious hook. A barnacle beard, and he's proud. There's Drumbo. He has a coral club. Long crab legs, and is very suspicious. So again, 
your game master brings the stuff to life. The characters are, are interacting with them, and the story you know, is told by the whole party um, to see where you go with this. The Dreaming Isles. The Dreaming Isles. Wait a second. This is from... Oh, my word. We're only on page 58 out of... Uh, how many pages are here? I was like, this is, I gotta fly through this. 290. Uh, this is from the creation myths. Uh, Jera Jen, I believe. From afar, it is like a constellation. Yeah, it has the sweet dream fruit. Oh, really cool. Okay, I'm not gonna look too deeply into that because that is super nerdy. Um, that is, that's really cool. I love Jared Jen. That'd be really cool to find a, an old hymn or poem or something by him sketched, etched on that island or something. I mean, I'd do that if I was Game Master in this thing. Uncharted, Archipelago, Shipwrecked, oh no. Yep, there's that. There's your turtle there. Very cool. So they took artwork from various sources. The Seafin Coast, what's that like? Pirate Cove, Sarah Nine, of course, Capital, Serpents of Sentiment. Okay, I'm just doing a walkthrough review. I wish I could review this as far as how fun it is. Of course, it's going to all depend on your group, on your game master, and even on yourself playing. So if you are doing a group playing this game, I would love to join Marshlands. Oh, Merayarapadapalalap. Ordinarily, there are no podlings in the swamp, but the shape of this pod seed house and the noise drifting from the clearing is unmistakably podling. A podling man, dressed in a mess of vines and leaves, stuck, in, stuck on with mud, is sitting hunched over a fire. Oh man, this sounds like so much fun. Aww. One of the main characters in the novels. He has this as a, I was going to say pet, but it's really more like a sidekick. <laughs> Sunken Village, oh, really cool. Circle of the Moons, the dense ape knot tree. So here you're definitely, all this area here is the uh, Swamp of Sog. Where, and here's all the, all the various great trees. Each clan has a great tree. So the Drenchen, the primarily dwell in the Swamp of Sog, live in the Great Smurth. And if you've finished the novels, you know that there is a certain Skeksis around here, and I know they continue on that story, which is, again, really cool. One great thing about role-playing games is they really keep fandom alive, because you, you can tell the story. You all have ideas. You know, we've seen all the wonderful fan fiction, uh, things like that, and this is another opportunity for you to dive into that kind of stuff. The scientist retreat. Oh, that's really cool. <laughs> Where does he go when he needs to get away and do some research? Not being harassed by the other Skeksis. Traveler Shrine, Hurrah Foothills, Mines, the Deterge. That's when they uh, bathe the podling. So, yeah, Outpost of the Order of Lesser Service. So, we'll get some more info on that. That'd be fun. Again, just they have, she wanted to put connections in with everything that you saw. Forge lands, home of the Vaporin clan, and hurrah, the North Mountains are a treacherous wonderland of rough terrain and glacier, edging the Silver Sea. Again, it's a lot of little details on the map there, and it'll tell you what they are, help your storytelling. City of Hurrah. Lots of info, lots of stuff. How to fix a marriage, there's even a labyrinth. Oh, oh, these are books. Oh, these are these are books that you find. The library is in chaos, and it takes three hours to search for books that aren't utterly useless. On awareness, four successes, roll, roll two D12s. On a fail, you roll two D6. If the party are looking for specific pieces of world information, success will instead find a useful piece of information. This will help you. Oh, this is super. So those are the best area of Thra. This is an actual book. Actually, I... Do I have it around here? Yeah, it's in my room. Um, that's an actual book. Uh, in our world, uh, the life of the a life in the shadows. These tales of an unnamed spy's life make a fantastic primer on how to read people. 
Gelfling may learn empathy for pride. Oh, cool. So you doing this research at the library in Harar, which we saw, um, you can gain some experience points, gain some skills. So the player may look through the creatures of Thra at the back of the book. Available at River Horse Games. Oh, wow. So the bestiary, page 258. What is it uh, referring to here? Oh, 258. Okay, so this kind of has a mini... Um, Best area of Thra, because this is more in universe stuff, so you can kind of know what's coming up. You can know what Bog Bart is, Blind Fish, Bog Bortog, because again, this is from uh, sequel comics, far, far sequel comics. You get some of that stuff. Oh, wow, they have, yeah, you can learn about constructs like lore. Oh, this is really cool. It looks like it ends here. So you, your character themselves can know this info. That's really cool. I would bring out that whole book and, and use it in my games personally. That is a really cool reference, especially if you had a lore master and someone that could you know eventually purchase that book and use it and have a lot of info on creatures they face or how to deal with them. Like, are they threatening? Are they not? Yeah, I got to look at those books. It's super nerdy. There's Labyrinth. These guys also printed the Labyrinth book. A Labyrinth adventure game. But it had it, yeah, right here. So you can see that. They did that. That's super nerdy. All the self references. The best you, a self improvement book for Gelfling, looking to avoid hard work. Oh, that's bad. Pickle, pickle, piddle dip. A frankly uninspired and predictable book. One star. How to fix a marriage. This book will. This book is hollow and contains a metal drinking flask. <laughs> uh, the Deeds of Jera Jen. In tunes and tales. Oh, see, I want. I want Jim Lee to actually write this. Everyone loves a Jared Gentel. Notes in the margin mention that his tomb is somewhere in the shifting sands. Oh, snap. Hello. Okay, I gotta, I'm never going to get through this if I... This is, that's exciting. That's exciting. If you could find the tomb of Jared Gen, what would you find there? Rainbow Falls. Kirastaba. So it's getting into the tree stuff. So it looks like you can... Find a seed from here again. Lots of spoilers. The Claw Mountains. Oh, so cool. Den of Shadows. The shadows of the Claw Mountains hold many secrets. Cloister. Order of the Crystal. The Deucin have always been known as a private clan. There is no law against Gelfling of other clans entering the cloister, but the worshippers will be particularly displeased should any strangers disrupt their prayers. This is the only place Deuce and Gelfling pray out loud rather than in Vojoyi sign language. There's the head monk, Chell's another monk you might run into, and there's some kind of trial there. That's very interesting. The Deucin are very mysterious. You don't get a lot on them, so it's really cool they created some more lore for them to get to know them. Of course, you're going to have to go visit them over there. Of course, if you're not familiar, Claw Mountains over here. So they have a tree there. And yeah, really cool stuff. Agra's Hollow. Oh, interesting. So there's again Quest. Crystal Desert. We saw them across that. The Glass Chalice. Wellspring Oasis. Osta Staba. Wellspring Medicine Boss. Beast Eggs. Ooh, very intriguing. Crystal Skimmer, some more in them. It takes an experienced captain with a deep bond to Crystal Skimmer, as well as a crew of three to nine Deucin, to safely manage all the hooks and straps necessary for a controlled flight. Oh, that's very cool. Hup. <laughs> There's Hup. A puddle. Paddle, pod, blah, a poddling paladin. So last we saw Hup, he was around that area, so it would not be untypical to find him there. It'd be really fun to run into Hup. Tear of the Desert. So you can water your crystal skimmers there. Circle of the Suns, of course, this is the last place we encountered a lot of our favorite characters that we're really wanting a season two to figure out what happened to them. Of course, you can make it yourself. Jerobaro. Keep 
This is the, actually the proto pr picture of what they wanted Jen to look like. He's going to be blue like that. Dry lands, Mondo, Mondo and Fee Vineyard. Bindleberry wine, cool. A wine fills you with inspiration. For, and plus one to artistry for one hour. That'd be fun. The leg and whisker. Sounds like a tavern. Brighton Heartlands, another land you're in. Bright Acre. Wallace Nest. Ooh, interesting. <laughs> These guys, there's a lot of them. I did see them in the bestiary. Sammy Thicket. We ran into this place in Age of Resistance. Another tree. Sprite and Green. Lost Letter. Ooh, I'm, real, I'm trying to not look too deeply into this because I don't myself want spoilers. Back Dust Institute. Interesting. Create some flash flares, boom vase, exploding eggs. We saw exploding eggs and uh, one of the Skeksis had those. I'm trying to be too spoilerish in the novels. So this must be where you can... Oh, black dust. Okay, so it's going to be like a, not an armory, a, a blacksmithing place. Um, Gunpowder. Experiments. The wetlands. Pickwick oil. Stink bombs. And a couple more. Tia Rise. A hamlet lies comfortably in the Shadow Valley. A handful of modest cottages cluster together. Interesting. A little well down there. Tell of the Forgetting Pool. Oh, wow. Kind of look at all that lore there. This is a tell of the Age of Innocence, when the Gelfling were still new to Thrall. All who live in Tia Rise know it, as do many, for further afield. Three Gelflings suffered painful loss. Dot, dot, dot. Ooh. Can I have to look into that later? Skeknaz Lumber Mill. Uh, interesting. She's got some prisoners there. Okay, okay. Swamp of Sog. Hall Pass. Ape Knot Path. Ape Knot Trees are in the Swamp of Sog. Floating Village. Ape Knot Prison. Oh, yes. I don't want to give any spoilers, but there you go. Tar Brook Vital. Great Smurf. If I recall, you can actually watch a playthrough of this particular game. This was the ones written, I think they show the credit up here in the front as well, by Philip Mitchell and Sidney Frost, Dark Crystal Podcast. Oh yeah, 170. And that's where we are. That's the one. So they wrote this module. That's really cool that they asked them to do that. So you can play that adventure there. Of course, if you've read the books, you kind of want to see what happens after, and that very much continues on. You know, I got a little, a little maze here. It'll be fun. Plains of the Castle. Ooh, so there are some interesting things you can run into here. Also, looks like this is feels like this is multi-page spread. Oh yes, so here's the Plains of the Castle. I love all these maps. The Crystal Castle itself. Once you're inside the castle, lots of detail, lots of maps. I mean, even if I never get around to playing this, it could be sad. <laughs> I could just redo this and enjoy it for sure. Mystic Valley. I love all these top-down maps. Uh, whoever did the maps did a great job. Because those are new to this, and there's a lot of them. Peachberry, Iron Staff. This sweet fruit is extremely bitter. If you've told a lie in the last minute. <laughs> That's funny. The Burnt Wood. Tinder Shaker. Forest and 
we've seen these characters in uh, these guys actually first appeared in Legends, so they're pretty old school. They're pretty old school. They're cool. I really like them. Oh, they were brought back in some of the newer Age of Resistance comics. Hand of Thrawn. Oh, interesting. Where once was great knowledge, like smoke, it slips away. It says we had a healing pool. When the Pearl Sister crosses my palm, Thrawn will flow into flesh and lend you its grasp. Oh, interesting. I mean, Thrawn very much is alive, so. Lighted fungus, tall trees, Scar and Fury. I mean, there is just so many different things. And like, each of these pages is an adventure. Like each the spread here, like if you go to the the Goblin Glen, this is an adventure. You're gonna do something there, you're going there for a reason, you're gonna encounter stuff, you can build up your character, you're gonna have some kind of dilemma, some kind of encounter. Um, and so buying this one book is if you you know have a group, if you play, you're gonna get your money's worth because that's just Hours, 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 days, 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 weeks worth of, of fun. This is another spread it feels like. There we go. Stone in the wood. Oh, of course, that's a very important spot. Resistance is still going on there. That's awesome. The seat of the Madra. Yeah, who's going to be the successor? So this is a question I saw someone ask recently. Um... The seat of the Madra has been empty since Madra Farah's death. I did tell you it was spoilers. Partially because her fizz gig, Puffy, will viciously attack anyone who sits in the chair. That's awesome. But mostly because the idea of Madra Farah seems to be inspiring the clan to greatness. If somehow a member of the party inspires the clan to unilaterally vote them to become Madra, they gain the Madra trait. That's got to be huge, Madra. You are the respected leader of one of the seven clans and can command them. Wow, that is a lot of power, a lot of responsibility. I wonder if Baffy the Fizz Gig will uh, join your side, because that would be awesome. Talking Stone. Ooh, lots of story. Look at all that story. Look at all that. Oh, so good. Jera Stone. Ooh. This stone tells the story of Jera Jen and the Horn of Thunder. Though that tell is actually inside creation myths. It's uh, actually that's the artwork on the back is from that. It's an awesome tell. Yeah. Any everyone, I don't know anyone who doesn't like Jera Jen. Maybe the Skeksis, that's about it. Edge Mountain. So that's really cool. You can I mean there's a lot of callbacks. Agra's Observatory. Find a lot of great stuff there. No doubt. Oh, interesting. At least the Staba above. So this is above ground, the trees. And then below, it's upside down. So you're, you have a visual. <laughs> That's interesting. That's cool. I can dig it. Empty steps. Ooh, lots of encounters there. Mithra. Oh, oh, not to be forgotten. This is, this is already started up by this point. The three Ember Queens. Oh, very cool. You know, I would want to instantly go there. This is sequel in the sequel comics. Power of the Dark Crystal. And beyond. The Black River. So we've seen that a lot in the movies. Vessels. Oh, wow. Serendipity. Red Fleet. Ship Hunter Gartham. Bred to keep the Black River under Skeksis' control. It cannot leave the water, but this Ship Hunter Gartham carries a Gartham in its mouth that can be set ashore. That is intense. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Lots you can run into there. The Dark Wood. Scary place. For sure. At least there's not a hunter there anymore. <coughs> Excuse me. <sighs> e hold that. All right, the gauntlet. Oh, this is cool. Concealed by the pressing branches and vines of the deep forest, here lies an ancient Urskek ruin. Ooh. Abandoned for many trying, it is neither a homestead nor a fortress. So this is some ancient, this is some ancient archaeology you're running into here. 
The character from the video game, his name escapes me at the moment, uh, the kind of Indiana Jones character, I would make you run into him here. Oh, it looks like there's some uh, certain paths, certain ways you got to do stuff. Oh, because there's traps. Yes. Very interesting. We'll spoil that. Morehouse, Party of the Gelfling. Another one of the trees. The Caves of Grot. So here's where we meet some great Gelfling. Darkening, Domrock, and the Caverns. Yeah, so now at this point, you're looking on the map. By this point, you are, um, oh, well, where? Um, somewhere over here. I guess, oh, I guess we're in here. Yeah. It's a great map. Okay, just hollow. A Ratham tomb. Ooh, that's right. That's gonna be interesting. Wow, you could use some of Ratham stuff as a shield. That, that's a great way to defend against a Gartham. That'd be really interesting. Tomb of Relics. So this is in the comics as well. Really cool stuff. Wow, look at the shape of that. And look, they have a nice little transparent. Oh, look at some specific stuff here. So these are when you get into more of a role playing game in a dungeon where there's puzzles and traps and you got to figure out what to do. Ooh, there's some artifacts from everybody in here. The darkening. Okay, so now it looks like we're in a different section of the book. The color kind of changed. Let me look at that index again. I should have noted that more. So we saw the first part of the game, the adventure. That's where we got to. Now I guess we're looking in, oh, we're almost there. We're looking in the toolkit and gallery almost. So this is kind of ending it off. So there's a lot of ending, returning to Thraw, a funeral, what happens if someone dies, appendix, so there's some skills, and the finale. Do, 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 the end, I won't read that. Uh, toolkit. All that you have read is malleable. It is yours to shape into a world you desire. Find within the tools of your creation, limited only by your imagination. <laughs> so good. Very thorough. Herbs, food, drinks. See a lot of stuff there. Seep and rum. Gives you plus one fortitude for two hours. It's great. Gear. So again, if you've ever played a role-playing game or an RPG of any kind, you understand the concept of getting gear and using it to help you out. Simple gear, lantern, bottle of ink, a mallet, crowbar, shield, heavy cloak, rope, yada, 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 sickle, pliers, do a frick of flute. Creatures of Thra, we look through that. The little bestiary. Fighting the Gartham, so that's going to be a major force you deal with. Here's some of their types of attacks, what they can do. Very tough. Again, info all about the Gelfling. Meeting Gelfling. So this is kind of their personality traits, what they're like. This is something again, a game master is gonna gonna know and play that character, that NPC, the non-playable character. That unlocks that. a couple more creatures here. If I put the mystics, oh, I guess this continues on actually, looks like. I guess there's a lot more of this than I thought there was. Again, this is a condensed version of the bestiary. Info about the skeks. He's like, okay, I guess this is partly, some of this is in-universe stuff, some of this is Game Master, so. The gallery, we were thankful for those that settled these lands. Brian Froud, Frank Oz, Jim Henson, to name but a few. We're thankful to those that explore them still. Master or player, may your adventure never end. Another world, another time. So just, they had a couple extra pages, so they got really fancy. Printer, put it out some good stuff. Three Sons Dying, original movie. Mother Agra from Age of Resistance, and again, that's from the older movie. Beautiful stuff. Comes with great artwork. Nice way to fill in their pages. 
and the Gelfling that started it all. So classic. All right, so there you have it. Again, you got your little pocket there. You can put notes, characters, whatever you need. There you go. All right. Well, again, I haven't played. If you had a group playing this, <laughs> send me a message. I would love to join in on this. This itself, I think it's worth buying just to read kind of the expanded lore, some more info about some of these places you've never seen before. Oh, nice. There's the regions, location of interest, the pages they're on. So this is, again, I think a love letter to everyone who's read all the media. I think you're going to enjoy this. Um, find a group, play it, have fun. This is that's actually something that people will say, you know, because you have the Star Wars movies, was it 79 through like 1982, 1983? And then there's nothing, no other movies really until the end. You know, not as many shows kicking out like they were now. You know, there's a couple of Ewok movies and things like that. But nothing until you had the prequels in the late, I guess mid late 90s and whatnot. And late 90s, yeah. Um, the thing that fans said kept it alive for them outside of the comic books was role playing games, playing together. And so, you know, something like this keeps the fandom alive. And so, keep it going. Bring in other fans. Be kind. And that's it. All right, with that, see y'all.